Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm going to apologise now, I'm so sorry I haven't uploaded anything for a couple of weeks but I've not been well, I've had hospital appointments and just I felt really not good and I couldn't sit for long in my nail room doing things so I do apologise but I am going to try my best to try and get back on track. So I shall be using my hand, my Fiona, with my tips just going to file them and buff them so they're nice and matte. I'll be coming with my, with my gel lab white. I'll be using my Vanilisa no white top coat. Possibly my Born Pretty foil gel glue, as you call it. Um, I have these foils out. May not use them. I might. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, some white painting gel for me to cross and I shall be using my Young Nails Detailer Brush um, and also the main thing I'll be using is these inks now I've got these inks on Friday I've literally just taken them out of the box let me put Fiona out of the way and it's a set of 12 that I got and I, they actually came from eBay I think, I will leave the link for them, I think they were about £14 for 12 which I didn't think was bad, but they did take quite a while to come. I must have been waiting, I would say, two months for them. But they're a good good size, they're a 15ml bottle, not a lot of the uh, blooming gels you find are only small bottles. So we've got our colours, we've got a green, I'm not going to undo them all because I'm one of those clumsy people that spills everything. So we'll just go through what we've got. So we've got green, we've got blue, we've got like a, well, kind of, you see that kind of a turquoisey blue green. We have, no it's like yellow, it's like orange. It's a bit like a, a burnt orange I would say. It looks like a red. We have our clear. Oh, I don't know. see. Is this yellow? <laughs> Can't tell what colours they're going to be. This is a weird colour as well. Kind of almost brown. But we'll see. I'll test them out before I use them. Um, like a pinky red there. Right, that's yellow. We found the yellow. Black. Yeah, definitely black. And we've got our purple and we've got our pink. Now, as I say, I'll leave the link to these in the description if you want to go and have a look. Um, and that's about it. So it's going to be it's going to be a nice um, water ink, an ink design, and I'll possibly be coming in with the white gel over the top for a design. So that's why I've got that. Um, and that's it. So if I need to come in and speak to you, I will do. If not, I shall see you later. Okay, so first of all, before we start, I'm going to be doing all of these nails white. Uh, I'll give them a buff first, then we've got a nice, I'll wipe them and then I will top coat them. Um, so they're already nice and smooth for the next stage. Okay, so I've given them all two coats of the white. They're not perfect it doesn't matter because they're going to be having the inks over the top so it doesn't have to be perfect i've also taken the tips off so we've got a bit of a um ballerina coffin going on i've rounded them off instead of straight at the end um there's three that i've given a matte top coat to i've left these two at the moment but these three have got a top coat and these are the ones i'm going to be doing the inks on so those three so i shall get started Okay, you're going to have to excuse the noise in the background guys, I've had to put the fan on, I am dying in here. It is too hot, so I do apologise. Right, so I'm going to firstly come in with our green. Now I think, I think I'll start on the thumb, because the thumb's a nice big nail, it's going to work out better on there. So let me try and get the thumb into focus, even if you can't see it. 
and it's going to be a bit of a dick. Hang on, let's move this forward and that up like that there. See if we can find that set, it's better. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and do a flower. I know that's easier said than done, but not easiest to work with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go round the edge with the green. Just roughly. Like that. Then I'm going to go in with yellow. If I can find the yellow, that is. What did I do with the yellow? That is the question. There we go. Right, I'm going to get the yellow. Now I've had to pop it in a roll of sellotape all these so they don't knock over. So, okay, so I'm going to put yellow into the middle like that. I know it looks a mess, but hopefully it's going to turn out beautiful, she says. And then we're going to go in with our now, I think I've got to find an orange so. Doesn't look orange, I think that's the brown. Okay, that's the orange. Okay, right. And then the centre is going to be orange, like that. And we're going to keep going over it until we get the colour that we want. So the edge is going to be green again. yellow and orange in the centre now, all we do is you just work it until you're happy with what you've got you don't have to use the clear if you don't want to you know they, as you can see they're mixing as they are so this is all I'm doing I'm not, I'm not intentionally, it hasn't got to have the outline of a flower as such. Things I can do, get the colours in. So I'm going to go around again. And try and bring this orange in, we've got a little bit too much so bringing the yellow in gets rid of the orange. Anyone that uses inks knows that it's pretty much trial. Just give it a go, see what happens. There's no right or wrong way to use this stuff. There really isn't. It is what it is. Okay. So I'm going to just put a little bit more yellow on with that, and I'm going to leave that to dry. And I'm going to come back to it later. dried. Okay. I'm not happy about this bottom bit here so I'm going to give that get my little, my little wipe off there really gently and go back in with the green. As you can see you can pretty much do anything you want with it. about what I want with that one. So I'm going to leave that one to dry. Now this one I'm going to do, um, we're just going to try and do a, maybe a marble perhaps. We use, I want it to match now, we've got green, orange and yellow on there so I'm thinking green using the green yellow again um, I don't want it to look too silly maybe a little bit of pink but I want it to all flow instead of having loads of different colors so I'm gonna go in with our full green nail about somewhere else now.
Okay, so that's the nails um, done with their marbling. I've just done a simple marble on the little finger um, of the blue and the green. Um, tidied up this one slightly. And you can see this one, um, a bit of a rainbow and a bit of a blend. So now, on the thumb and the ring finger, I'm going to come in with my meter cross white painting jar and I shall be using my micro detailer brush from Young Nails and I shall be adding the detail and it's just simple detail that will make it look like you've um well it's, it's a it's a water marble you know it's like a water marble a water a water marble a watercolor picture get it out woman and we're just going to add bits of details, bits of petals and, and bits and it should hopefully bring it to life. So I should just let you watch that and I should be back to speak to you when I get to the next bit.
so we have the thumb done and we have the ring finger done next I'm going to be doing um, using a little bit of my meat across gold just doing a few um, little veins in the two marble nails and then we will come in back to this one last so I should let you watch and then we'll come back to do the foil Right, final nail before we top coat. Now, these top top coating is not going to be exciting today because there's no glitter. But we're going to use a little bit of this foil, I think, just to finish the set off. So we're going to go in with our transfer gel. I'm going to cover the whole nail, and it's going to go in for a whole minute. This one. It's the born pretty one, so make sure everything is well covered. Pop it in your lamp for a minute. Okay, so here we go. That's had its minute, so I'm going to find a nice piece of foil that's going to just sit nice. It's just getting the right bit. I don't want anything too massive. This one's quite nice. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just place it where I want it. Think about not there. Okay, put it there. Bins, I've already stuck it. It's the trouble with this stuff, it is so sticky. Once you, if you've done it, stick it by accident. I'm sorry, you've had it. It stay in there. So. that in as you can see it's almost like it's a watercolor which is what I wanted but it takes away from the the, the lines the rainbow lines as such so I quite like that okay right I'm gonna get ready for top coating okay as you can see on this one we've just done our, well, let me get this picture, there we go, where we've just done our transfers. Just gone in with a tiny, tiny bit of gold, if you can see that, just to, to tie it all in together. So I'm going to do the same with this one as well. Nothing special, just some little, little swirls and maybe dots and just a bit of something. Just so it ties everything together as it should. Do the thumb as well. So we'll just get set up and then we will finish this one off. There we go. These have all had they've had sixty seconds with the um, painting gel. So now we're just going to go in with a top coat and we're about done.
the finished nails. I hope you can see them. I'm just hoping this picture isn't as naff as what I think it is. Really trying to get this to focus and it's not doing anything. But there we go. If I can just go through them. I love the one with the roses on. Simplest is always the best sometimes. Let's see if we can zoom in for that one. No. This phone and camera is being an absolute pig. So there we go. Um, wasn't a very exciting one, guys. It's um, it's just getting me back on track again. It's a bit of a slow process to to get me moving again. So um, just a slow, steady, simple one for now. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I'd be really grateful if you subscribe. I only need two more subscribers to get this giveaway underway. And then I can give you more details on what's going to be happening. Um, I know it would be nice to have some more subscribers as well also. Um, I will leave the link to the inks in the description box below. Um, and that's it from me for now so that's it so thank you for watching everyone and i'll see you again very soon bye